Y'all, okay, so since I uploaded my last No Money Spent episode over the weekend, as per usual, I was grinding, getting ready for uh, for this edition, No Money Spent episode four. I, I did a bunch of stuff. I, I had a bunch of footage saved up to make one of my usual No Money Spent videos. And then yesterday and this morning happened, All-Star Spotlight Sims dropped and uh, we, we all know about them already. Just made me delete my whole video, all right? So we're starting from scratch here. No Money Spent episode four. Let's get to it, y'all. And let's dive right into the gameplay on fake j canada 10 my no money spent account this is all gonna be live today by the way all-star spotlight sims all right it's the uh, elephant in the room we all know them we all are going to hate them very shortly but 16 new cards added which you can get essentially for free just for grinding the game just like last year including a grand prize of galaxy opal john wall basically all of these cards are juiced there's a bunch of guys in the my team community who have made videos up ranking these cards i've gotten one of them so far which i'll show you in a second they're basically all loaded and it's it's again it's free so this this right here just broke our no money spent series because obviously from this point forward i'm gonna be focusing on these spotlight sims and juicing my lineup that way like had to be done y'all but just to recap what i've done since uh since the last episode because again i did a bunch of stuff before these spotlight sims dropped i'll talk about them in a second but first i finally completed the evil on two new cards timothy luawo cabarro i got all the steals man that was a grind i still really dig this card he is still really good He'll be replaced when I eventually get, uh, I, I don't know, Pink Diamond Kawhi or one of those cards from the new Sims. But we finished up his Evo over the weekend as well. Aaron Baines draw. Was that? Yes. He came out yesterday on Tuesday. Aaron Baines as well, like a free Steven Adams if you grind Triple Threat online. I went for this Baines. I didn't think he was that great because of his jumper. Took me like an hour, two hours live on stream to uh, Evo him and no regrets, man. He's got a weird jumper set shot for, but certainly worth it to have a free diamond card. And by the way, in case you didn't know, I meant it there i have been very active on twitch recently so make sure you go follow me there there's a link in the description i'll be streaming every tuesday friday sometimes on sunday so be sure to catch them I'm, I'm gonna be grinding no money spent there now in addition to the banes and the luau cabro one other thing you might notice is that my xp totals up to 21k i'm level 25 on this account and literally yesterday morning before the spotlight sims dropped i decided you know what i might be able to get to this galaxy opal david robinson now i don't know if i'm actually going to like I doubt I'll have enough MT to buy the cards required, but there's a lot of good prizes along the way. Like I'm nearly at this diamond buddy healed who would definitely make my lineup. So I figured if I'm going to be grinding offline modes, I might as well try and knock out some of these XP challenges, some of the easy ones that I can do. You know, some of these like Kevin Porter Jr., some of these more budget cards, and maybe we can just see how far with my no money spent account I can get. I doubt I'm going to get to Galaxy Opal D-Rob, but I figured I might as well if I'm grinding offline. And obviously with Spotlight Sims now, there's a lot of content to grind so we'll see how far along i can get with xp again i'm at level 25 it's not bad i got to level 25 by the way by playing a bunch of heat check dom so i've completed two divisions of heat check dom and that might be it i don't know if in the future i'll come back and finish this uh this grind for anton i still think the card is worth it but obviously now i'm gonna focus on the all-star spotlight sims so i wish i would have finished that anton quicker but again i don't have endless amounts of time but let's dive deeper onto the spotlight sims just for a second here. Now, I have completed one. I will show you the card if you don't know which one it is yet. But yeah, these are a grind, man. They, they are a grind. I think there are some triple threat games mixed into some of these, but there's like a hundred games in total you have to play, which is a lot. At this point, I think I'll probably get all of it done eventually, but I'm definitely going to go for the cards I think are the most appealing at first, including this DeMarcus Cousins. I've been asking for a dominant budget big. That Cousins will certainly be that. I'll probably get this big Z, Zadrunas Elgoskis. Heard a lot of people saying good things about Allen Iverson. They actually juiced him this year. Dr. J is always a favorite card of mine. You guys let me know which cards do you think look most appealing from these spotlight sims. It's definitely going to be a grind, but who knows? We'll, we'll have to see how far we can get here. But the one card I have finished, yes, there might be the reason you clicked on this video even, uh, Pink Diamond what is this dude's name? Sydney Wicks? Sydney Wicks. Now, the reason he was the first one I went for and probably a bunch of other people is because we found out on 2KDB last night, this card has a seven foot 11 wingspan. Like what? What? How is that even possible, y'all? And there he goes. He's a power forward, small forward. Uh, again, most of these cards have really good badges and stats. This Wicks, the, the wingspan, I, I had to get my hands on it and try. Also, do I, what if you gave me like a Hall of Fame range to slap on this man right here? Right here? Uh, oh, never mind. 
volume shooter. Great. But let's check it out. My first spotlight sim, by the way. So you can lock in. You get Wes Unsell. That card looks cool. You do the current day ones. You get Brandon Roy. You do both of them. And of course, you get John Wall. So I'm 1 16th of the way there. You love to see it. Anyway, Sydney Wicks, power forward, small forward, 6 8 with that ginormous wingspan. Good layup. 83 points. Definitely too low, but more of an attacking card. 95 drive, dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 perimeter and interior defense. He's literally built more like a big man, but with 92 speed. Amazing. Badge wise, 20 Hall of Fames, including pickpocket clamps, highlight film. I saw catch and shoot there. Uh, Intimidator, posterizer. Again, more of an attacking card. Quick first step. Very, very nice. And unfortunately, no gold deep threes, right? Unless I'm going to be surprised. Yeah, no deep threes. But for my team, honestly, that's okay. Now, one of the things to note for these challenges, um, they require certain amount of players from certain teams. For example, this first one, three Sixers players. By the fifth one, it required 10 Thunder players. So that's why I'm actually a bit low on MT right now. You're going to have to have some MT to invest just to do these challenges. And it's really random. Like I have no idea what the trend is with which teams players you need for which game. It's kind of confusing. But what I went ahead and did was all the cards that I bought, I ended up putting back up on the auction. So as you can see here, I got a ton of cards from the Thunder and Bulls to sell. I might need Thunder and Bulls cards again down the road, but I have no idea how the market's going to work right now. Like if I were you and you've got cards you aren't using, I would sell them because people are buying like any cards from any teams, if that makes sense. So there you go. I'm back up 200K. Beautiful. But with that being said, this was my best lineup coming into today, but I guess we do have to slightly adjust it now that I've gotten Sydney Wicks. And I decided regrettably, because I love that card, uh, Diamond LeBron, he is, he's out because Diamond LeBron can't shoot. The Sydney Wicks is literally a LeBron James card on steroids. I don't know if I love Yi and Bargnani off the bench, but I do have a lot of shooting. Yeah, a lot of shooting surrounding this Wicks card and uh, this Felipe Lopez off the bench. So a 92 overall team, it's looking good. But of course, with the addition of this Wicks card to our lineup, I had to get some gameplay, man. I haven't used him even offline yet. I need to see what this card's about, how that wingspan works in game. So let's play our first My Team Unlimited game with the no money spent team and see what we've got. All right, let's get it, y'all. First My Team Unlimited game. I'll be honest, I'm in the, uh, the Silver League and I'm pretty sure my opponent's team isn't very good, but doesn't matter. A actually, is that is that the pink diamond Steven Adams he's got? We're here to see Sydney Wicks and uh, that that's about it. If I win, I win. If I lose, well, I'm not going to lose. Good dime. Aaron Baines from Sydney. Oh yeah, this wingspan looks crazy. Even just dribbling the ball up, like it's it's noticeable. This is crazy. Unfortunately, he can't curry slide. I guess, I guess that makes sense, but oh, blow buys, blow buys. <laughs> Oh man, what a valuable card for two hours of time well spent getting him. Okay, there it is. Yep, yep. Sydney Wicks green from, I mean, that wasn't like a deep three, but it was a pretty deep three. I think that's exactly the same base and release as Gerald Green. That, that feels identical. Not like the greatest jumper ever, but it'll definitely do the trick. Good switch on D. Yeah, yeah you're not getting that shot off, bro. Ain't gonna happen. Sydney in transition, big finish. Damn. And one, I'm not playing comp, I'll admit it, but yeah, these animations kind of going crazy right now. Let's get the lob off. Don Ole, the Sydney Wicks lob right here, right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right <laughs> He was at a standstill. I definitely thought that was going to be a turnover. All right, quick 10 points, no big deal. Oh yeah, two for two from deep with Sydney. Two for two. And we got slashing takeover. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This card really is, he is as advertised. This wingspan going crazy. The badges, everything's working right now. I'm gonna need my opponent to quit. Like we've seen enough. We've seen enough from Sydney. Decent behind the back move too. Um, drop a little dime. TLC, baby. Worth the Evo grind. Well, that's not a bad looking shot. Primary ball handler, Sydney. Primary ball handler, Sydney. Let's go. We don't got the curry slide. We don't really need it though. We did just, just run to the base. <laughs> like these animations are wild with the speed boosting and stuff. I'm sure there's other cards that do stuff like this, but oh yeah, get tied up. A free card took me two hours to grind for him. Ah, I love it. Coast to coast Sydney again. Coast to go. Oh, I like that crossover. I like that. Okay, chill out, chill out. He's straight off balling, so I'm not getting open for very many threes, but it's cool. It's cool. Who needs three? Oh, okay. oh big block. All right, Sydney might be getting a bit tired. Fair enough. Mm, inside Sydney Wicks, baby. Poster standing dunk. I'm seeing everything I need to see, to be honest. And uh, now, now we can use a quit from this opponent. Like, this isn't a game, bro. You, you can quit. It's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sydney, get up here. Sydney, get up here and catch his lob, brother. <laughs> yeah, had to wait for it. Windmill off the lob. Why not? 
Let's try another one. Let's try another. Oh, no. Sydney didn't run the route for the lob. We'll, we'll just have to pass it inside to him. All right. 23 points in a quarter and a half. Not even. All right. It's feeling like my opponent's not going to quit. I mean, it's a 13 point game. Um, I've seen a lot from this Sydney Wicks card. Time for me to try out some other cards. Because again, I haven't gotten too much uh, online work with most of this no money spent account. So let me go a little third, little third quarter J action. See if we can blow this man out or uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll end up being a close game. 25 first half points for Wix. All right, y'all, fourth quarter. Uh, yeah, opponent didn't want to quit. 26 point game. This is one of these games where I have like no energy. I don't know why I'm still in this game. And it's just what one of these. I know you guys have played these two, but I'm going to go ahead and get the win because I, I want Perfect. to win. And uh, yeah, Sydney, uh, Sydney Wix, I can barely talk. Still green in threes for me. So uh, that's just a great sign. Let's try another one in transition. Transition. Oh, I missed time that one. And he still made it. Okay, I could feel that I missed time that one. All good, dude. What a stud. 32 points on 13 of 20. Just, just awesome. Mm, Don Ole, still money from the corner. Dude, this Don Ole card is really good. I think there's a couple point guards that are potentially on his level uh, stats badges wise from the Spotlight Sims, but I'm not sure, dude. Like, I have his jumper so down pat too. He's just, he's built different for me. Boom. Okay. Okay. There's a final, a final highlight for our game. That might be the thumbnail. <laughs> Sydney Wicks and one dunking all over my opponent's team. So yeah, real, obviously he's a slashing card. Like we know that and uh, defensively slashing, he's a beast. He can't be stopped. Yeah. And shooting wise, this card, I mean, you saw, I greened a few shots when he's open, he's hitting up three for seven from deep. He's not going to be like an ultimate sniper, but everything else. Wow. For uh, again, I'll say for two hours worth, really love this card. And obviously there's there's so many more to that look interesting. I mean, to me, this Don Buse, he seems like one of these random cards like a Don Ole or a Terry that's going to be good. I mentioned some earlier, Dr. J, Latrell Sprewell. Last year, Latrell had a really good Evo card to start the year. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a grind, but let me know if you guys are taking part in these spotlight sims. If you're going for a uh, Wes, B-Roy, John Wall, all that good stuff, let me know down below. Oh, look at that. We're up to level 26. Oh, we got an ascension board. I have to show it. Maybe we get, maybe live, I get blessed with an Adrian Dantley, a card I don't really want, but I absolutely would take. Okay. It's taken me four picks to get off this board. Uh, I hate when this happens. There we go. Yeah. Six picks on the final board. Um, this is doable. Pro probably not, but you never, oh, a free pack. Amazing. Another free pack. Okay. Okay. I always do this weird pattern on the board. I, I don't know if that's smart. I mean, it's probably not, but uh, whatever. I don't even want Adrian Danley, bro. Don't, don't even bless me 2K. I don't want it. I don't want it with my last pick. Dang it. I kind of did want it. It would have been good for the video. Uh, oh, well. Maybe one of these packs, there's something loaded. Maybe there's a pink diamond, Ben Gordon, something like that. No shakes, man. Free card free packs just don't like me i'm telling you it's really getting ugly out here with the free no shake at all hate to see it but that is another episode of no money spent again wow this episode got thrown just for a complete loop with everything going on with spotlight sims but let me know what you thought of it i hope you did enjoy thank you for supporting these videos as you have another mention of my twitch channel link down below if you want to see me streaming a bunch of this stuff live i suggest you follow me there and check out my second channel as well basketball cinema again link in the description I know you'll enjoy that content too. But until next episode, I'm Jay Canada. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.